Alright everyone, we are going to look at Q&T really quick here. So from the last couple of updates, I did end up taking off the downtrend that we had in play here. So we're, we're in a downtrend that's obvious from the uh, moving averages here. So until we get over the 200 day moving average and you know these colors are in reverse order, uh, we need the blue, yellow, orange, and then red in that order to be officially in an uptrend over the 200 day moving average here. Uh, but I zoomed out to the monthly, to the weekly, to the three day, and there's several different ways that you can draw the downtrend on the macro scale here. Uh, and ultimately, we're still stuck under it on a lot of the charts. Uh, I believe from the last one here on the daily, we had it drawn right to here. So on the smaller time frame, we did break out of it. And, you know, if we can come down here to this 106 area and hold that as support and back test that downtrend as support, then we may finally start going higher. You can see the 21 is trying to cross the 50 here, but you can see every time that it does this off a nice move to the upside, uh, got rejected off the 200 day moving average back here. Uh, we didn't have that cross. Uh, the market said, nope, you're still bearish. Another little move here said, nope, you're still bearish. We got stuck at the 100 and we just did it again and we are not getting that cross and we did get rejected once again. Uh, so uh, Q&T is still bearish in the macro scale. Um, so we may get a couple more times where we come down to this $100 area with potential dips down to 95 here before we eventually move higher at some point. It is getting to that point. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, there's only so long something can stay in a downtrend like this. And if you've watched the updates on the channel here before, you know that I am extremely bullish for Q&T on the next bull run. It is going to make one of the better plays, in my opinion. So from that 200-day or yeah, 200-day uh, rejection here at right at that 618 at 112, I think we spiked up to about 114. Um, from where you are right now, our first support, uh, which we may catch the 100. That's not even a 2% move, but the 0.5 here at 106 for a 3% drop, uh, and then potentially back down here to this 101, $100 area for an 8% drop on QNT. So that may be what is in play here. If we get a bounce at the 0.5 or the 100, of course the price to beat is going to be the 200. It's almost at the uh, 618 here at 112. So this 112 to 113. If we can get over that, officially get over the 200 day moving average and not just keep getting stuck at it and hold it as support and have some momentum come in with a momentum candle, then we can finally say that the downtrend is broken on QNT and we're starting our journey to the moon at that point. But as of now, another rejection off the 200, and it looks like we're coming back down here. We are still green, but you can see how tiny this one is getting. So I'd imagine uh, the next one that spawns in, the next one or two, is going to turn red here, and we're gonna roll over and come back down. So with that said, you know, just pick up some more Q&T back down at these lower price targets, because eventually, like I already said, we will go up. So we'll leave it at that on Q&T, now financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.